Just now I have done a uh, motherboard repair. So the part number is it's LAC 701P. Okay. Unfortunately, I couldn't make a video of this uh, complete service. So what was the result? Just <coughs> I wanted to tell you people. Okay. Uh, here one I found one uh, uh, strange thing. So that's why I'm making this video and I wanted to inform you people. See. In this motherboard, actually it was dead, so completely dead. So uh, RSM RST was not there, so that's the reason I replaced <coughs> two IOS. Okay, two IOS I replaced. Then also the problem was same. Okay, this one from scrap board, so we can't give any guarantee. Scrap boards are working or not? That's the second thing. Okay, anyway, next I replaced a new one. I had that from somewhere and I replaced the new one. Here is the bill. Mm. Anyway, see here. Yeah, added two. Okay, out of one I replaced one, and immediately when I switched on, so it it started working. Okay, I'll show you people. Just observe when I connect the DC jack. See here, light is glowing. Okay, I'll switch it on slowly. Just a minute. Check the display. It's okay or not. See. Hmm. See, cut the display. Okay, brand issue is showing. Okay, anyway, but just I wanted to tell you something. Problem got solved. That is the second thing. Here, I wanted to tell you an important thing regarding the I/O. See, usually. IO is it's a KB 9022Q okay it's a programmable IO usually uh, everyone what will do so they will take it from scrap board and they will put and uh, sometimes problem will get solved or sometimes they will replace the uh, IO after replacing we have to do the program or in some conditions we uh, we should not do because uh, in previous board it will be there so that's the reason uh, we won't do so directly we will switch it on so it will work and in this case, once you replaced from new I.O., you should do the program. In previously, from previous, we are doing same kind of thing. Once we replace the new I.O., so we should the we should do the BIOS program. I mean, it's a programmable uh, I.O., so that is the reason we need to do the BIOS. Okay, but here. <coughs> the strange case is once I replace the I.O. and switch it on it started working got my point it started working so it means nowadays I don't know it's a nowadays it's happening or uh, from beginning I don't know from beginning it was not there we need to be supposed to do the BIOS but nowadays what are the ENE KB 0 double 2 we are getting for that it's not required 
means program is not required it's a programmable io but program is not required maybe they are giving inbuilt i think so nowadays that is the reason if unable to get the rsms rsc uh, rsmrst then you can uh, do the program okay that is the thing i wanted to share with you people mm, thanks for watching thank you